Hi, my name is Father Chris Ryan. I'm a priest of the Missionaries of God's Love, and I'm currently the parish priest of St. Declan's in Penshurst, Australia. I read Father James' book, Divine Renovation, and I found myself again and again saying yes to, first of all, the theology that he presented, but then um, again and again in the way that he practically applied that. Really got some serious runs on the board, we would say in Australia. He'd, he'd been involved and had been kicking some goals, uh, really achieving something in the actual practical application of the rich theology we have about mission in our church. So when I arrived at St. Declan's uh, some three years ago, my intention was very much to apply some of the principles of divine renovation, some of the things I'd learned from the book. It's been a really important catalyst for helping parishioners who perhaps have been faithfully at Mass for years come alive in their faith in a whole new way. They'd point to it as being a really significant turning point in their journey of faith, especially in the way that they've been able to say that they've encountered Jesus and experienced the Holy Spirit working in their lives. Things that should be normal, things that should be usual for every Catholic. We've heard people say, I never knew this was possible. I never knew I could know God like this. I never knew that I was loved like this. The other group that we found is that from the very word go, we've had people coming to do Alpha who haven't been involved in the church, whether they once were and have been away for many years, or even those who've never been involved, never been raised in faith. And Alpha has been a fantastic tool to help them to hear the gospel. When people have experienced the sense of community that develops on Alpha, they don't want to go back to that anonymous kind of Christian faith. They want to be in relationship and they know, they start to discover how much more they learn, how much more they grow in their faith as followers of Jesus, as disciples, when they've had that opportunity. We joined the coaching network two years ago and that's been a really wonderful experience for us. Uh, it's one thing to have the theology, it's one thing to have some ideas, but when you're practically trying to imp uh, implement uh, ministry on the ground, to have somebody beyond uh, the team in the parish to talk things over with, to bounce ideas off, to learn from, has really been invaluable for us. For the first time, I've also been trying to serve as parish priest with a senior leadership team or an SLT around me. That's been a rich experience. I wouldn't go back to any other model of leadership where I didn't have that kind of team. I've always been collaborative in ministry, but leading a senior leadership team, the idea that the, the way in which Divine Renovation talks about a small group that really help the pastor, the parish priest, to make uh, great decisions for the benefit of the parish, for me has been a, a game changer really in how I try to exercise leadership in the parish. I just wouldn't go back to life before an SLT. I think the fruit that I'm most excited about first and foremost is the fruit of people's changed lives. When people have encountered Jesus and they received the gift of the Spirit and they, you know, we watch them love coming to Mass and Eucharist changes for them or becomes a new place for them, you know, that, that place where it really truly becomes the source and summit of their lives. But we've seen that people, once they've had that experience of connection through Alpha, once they've experienced that sense of belonging, they want that to continue. But I really do feel like we're taking steps towards becoming a community of missionary disciples. What would it be like if our parish and our parishes looked like this, where there was, they were actually filled with, there was a, there were a community of missionary disciples created where people kind of encounter the parish and they actually tangibly and palpably experience the love of God. I've been ordained now for nearly 18 years and I've been involved in all sorts of efforts at renewal in our church. Uh, I'm convinced that our church stands at a, at a real crossroads sort of moment. Parishes need to be renewed. We need to see places, ordinary parishes, filled with ordinary people who've had an extraordinary encounter with the love of God, who know Jesus and who want to share his love with the world. Parishes can be a place where people are renewed. I've loved being a priest over these past three years, probably more than ever because I feel like we're contributing and making a difference and really being on about the right things that are needed in our, in our world and in our church at this time.